I, I would hear many people say, oh, there is no condemnation, you know, to those that are in Christ. That statement, yeah? And so now recently, I went back to that, to that scripture, Romans 8.1, yeah? Give it to us, please. And something really uh, opened up, and I, I realized that uh, people are tying themselves on this thing, and they are not understanding it now. When, when you're in transgression, or if you find yourself in transgression, and somehow you have a voice telling you this scripture, let's read it together today to understand it, okay? There, are, there is, okay, there are four now, no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, comma, who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit. So what, what is Paul trying to tell us here? He's trying to tell us that it is possible that in Christ are two people. Mm. One who walks carnally yeah. and one who is walking spiritually. So deep. Mm -hmm. Have you ever read that scripture like that? Like I read it? Because I used to somehow stop there at the comma. Me meaning, if I'm walking according to the flesh, there is now condemnation. Condemnation. <laughs> You see that, but... But if I'm walking according to the Spirit... There is no condemnation. Deep. It means, I, when, I, when I saw it, I was like, okay, then that means that no condemnation is basically, mm. there is no report, no old report about you that can be brought to you. About you. You, about you, who is walking according to the Spirit. Yep. In fact, before we enter, we are not going to go there, but just to... Before you enter Romans 8.1, the entire Romans 7, Paul is busy talking about how he does what he doesn't want to do, what he doesn't want to do, he does it. Yeah? So that's basically, so he's giving you the solution now. He said, no, those who walk according to the Spirit are not condemned. So if at all you are in salvation and you are in one or another, you cannot. You're walking in the flesh, meaning you find yourself, unfortunately for you, you do these works of the flesh are high, high, high in you. Eh? Then you, you're being condemned on a daily and it's not a lie, it's true. You yes. wake up and you're like, mm. I want to do it. That's condemnation alone. Yeah. So, people, are, I believe up to today, want to tie themselves on that, but that's not for the one is walking according to the spirit because later according on after, yeah mm. uh, uh, it's not a, about the one who's walking according to the, to the flesh yes yeah. it's only for those that are walking according to the spirit because later down there he tells you about the law of life the law of the spirit and life and whatnot eh? mm. yeah now i want to tell you the how amen so that i make my message quick and we get done amen mm. because of little time now uh First and foremost, the same scripture there, Romans 8, 6 says that to, for to be carnally minded is what? Is death. Mm. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. So you find that even Paul, within his letters, up to the end of his letter, he is getting more revelations of, uh, about things, yeah? Mm. He himself is growing in revelation, mm. yeah? He's understanding that, oh, okay, it is walking in, by the spirit that gives life and peace. Mm. Walking by the flesh does not give you life and peace, yep. but rather death, because the wages of sin is death. death. Mm. Everything that you do that is connotated with sin mm. will always be bringing a death to something. Mm. Mm. You understand? Always. Mm. Mm. Let me give you an example. For example, we give you practical examples for you. Uh, let's say you've been prophesied here, yeah? You've been given a mighty word, and it has to do with your future, yeah? Let's say marriage. Let me pick just that, marriage, let's say, yeah? And then this word, within you, if by the masses of God you have enough fear of God within you, yeah? If you've been, a, if you've been playing around, what we call playing around, yet you're a Christian, yeah? That prophetic word should awaken you mm. to be what? To be aligned to it. Yeah? 
But if it finds you and you're not aligned to it, and you're still doing what you're doing, what will happen? The prophetic word may die, or what they call faith, but it's actually dying. You get it? It may not come to pass because of the way you do. So what does that tell us? It means we also have a responsibility. Yeah? We also have a responsibility. Yes, we have the Holy Ghost within us who is a helper, but we have a responsibility. That's why the Lord told me, I dispensed this message while talking about how I came to how I am today. Yeah? Mm. Yes, because all believers, trust me, you, they all go through that. You have those, like, your, those processes where you go through that. Yeah? You, you want to do good, you want to please God, but somehow things are just what? Failing. But 